Hello guys, it is the first day of curfew 2.0 and I have decided to make fish and chips today. You guys asked for a Mansaf video and that inshallah will come tomorrow. But today we're doing fish and chips. It's England's, the UK's national dish. And usually people don't make it at home. Um, usually they buy it from the fish and chip shop because it is it just tastes better. Um, and you eat it out of a newspaper, piping hot out of a newspaper and you eat it outside on a very cold day and it's delicious. It is hard to recreate in the home but I'm going to do it for you guys today. I do it pretty much once a week. I'm going to use non-alcoholic beer to make it because in the UK we, we do it beer battered. Um, obviously we're not going to do that now. And I've got my potatoes and my fish and I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first step is I'm going to turn all of these potatoes into chips. I've got my chips. They're all cut and ready. You see all the different colours there. That means that there's like several different types of potatoes. Something I don't understand in Jordan. Because in England, we, they're not cooked yet, baby. In England, um, you go into the supermarket and there's like six different types of potato that you can choose for various different things if you want to roast it if you want to fry it whatever you want to do with it but here usually you've got one choice um, and it tends to be a mix and match of many different things so anyway i'm going to fry these now and then i'm going to fry them again twice fry double fry um and then they will, won't be soggy they'll be crispy and i'll show you the trick to making sure that they stay crispy and then we'll move on to the fish because the fish takes no time at all So I only fry a few chips at a time um, because you don't want to overcrowd the pan. A little bit more done than I would usually let them be for the first stage, but I'm going to move them over onto this tray. Okay, so my trick is to put the chips all on this tray so that the oil drips down and collects there instead of sitting on a tissue or like people tend to use fine or a kitchen towel or something like that. Wherever they touch each other, they'll start going soggy. So I leave them until they're cool and then I'm gonna fry them again. Adam, you ain't gonna eat all the chips before they're done. Excuse me. No, not yum. You're going to eat them all before they're ready. Look, they're all gone. So my boys have basically eaten all of the chips that I've made so far. Because the chips are nearly done with the first round of frying, second round takes no time at all. And we do that right before we serve up the food. So I'm going to get started with my fish and making the batter which is basically just this non-alcoholic beer you can use anything really it's i mean the beer taste makes it like an authentic kind of fish and chips experience um but i mean last lockdown i didn't have any non-alcoholic beer and i used sprite and you couldn't really taste the sugariness of it but i probably wouldn't recommend it to other people moussey or um, barrio or holston i think it's called any of those um, are good, but just don't get the flavoured ones, get the original. So when it comes to my fish, I think a lot of people, I often post about um, me making fish and chips on my social media and people are often like, wait, you don't use like any spices at all? Because in England, we tend to just want to put a little bit of lemon on our fish um, and basically that's it. Like, and with fish and chips, you always use malt vinegar to like flavour the chips in the fish. We don't have any of that. But basically you rely on the flavour of the fish coming out, but feel free to mix it up if you do try it. And let me know if you try it. I, I would be so happy if I had like a group of Jordanians making fish and chips, it would make me so happy. So I've had my fish defrosting. Um, it's just, it doesn't even have a name. There's like no name for this fish. It's just called, there you go. It's just called white fish. Many different kinds of fish. And when you go into a British fish and chip shop or you buy fish and chips from a restaurant or something like that, you'll usually be allowed to choose whether you have cod or if you have plaice or haddock um, but we have this generic fish and it doesn't it doesn't taste fantastic which is probably why you need the spices and things um, but it's okay as long as you get the consistency right with the batter 
should taste really good. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put about a cup of flour in this bowl. I've recently switched to pink salt and it is the best. Put some salt in there and then that's basically it. I'm going to open this. Oh, hang on. flour on here I'm gonna add um, probably a bit more so this is gonna make sure that the batter sticks to the fish I'm gonna get it in the middle there my fish into this batter make sure that it's really well covered the batter is kind of like a um, it's like a pancake like if you uh, crepe if you make English pancakes it's like a crepe consistency and then I've got a medium hot pan here and I'm gonna try and get it in with the least amount of mess. There we go. And then that will take a few minutes. Both sides, I'm gonna wash my hands because that's disgusting. So next, I'm going to repeat the process with the other two pieces of fish, and then I'm gonna start on the second round of frying the chips while the fish is cooking, and then, inshallah, hopefully it will all be ready at the same time. So my fish is ready and it looks um, all golden brown and crispy and bubbly and lovely. So I'm going to take them out now and again I'm going to drain them to make sure that we don't have excess oil. These bits at the end we call them, I can't remember what they're called, they're like crispy bits and in England, that's a chip obviously, in England um, these bits you can buy them in like a little bag. They have so many of these left over and they taste really good. So today was England's national dish, fish and chips, and of course tomorrow, like I said, will be mansaf, and at some point I will do the falafel video as well before the end of this curfew. So thank you guys so much for watching, and please like and subscribe, and I have a mountain of washing up to do behind me, so we're gonna get crack on and eat this. Thank you guys, ma